Hey everybody, this is Dr. Kazi back with another video on pelvic anatomy. In this video, we are going to learn about the various valves of this whole pelvic cavity. We are going to learn what is on the anterior side, what is on the lateral side, and what is on the posterior side. Now, compare this whole pelvic cavity with a box-like structure in order to understand it more clearly. Now, this box is without a lid so it doesn't have the superior wall the box have the anterior wall two lateral wall on both side the posterior wall and the inferior wall okay now in the same way this whole pelvic cavity will have the anterior wall the two lateral walls the posterior wall and the inferior wall which is known as the pelvic floor now let us discuss the anterior wall and the posterior wall have a look at this beautiful diagram the anterior wall consists of three things the pubic bone and the ischiopubic rami of both sides and the symphysis pubis now these three things will form the anterior wall of this pelvic cavity have a look at the posterior wall of this pelvic cavity which is formed by this sacrum bone which I have shown with the green color the coccyx bone along with two muscles on each side which is the piriformis muscle now let's take out this sacrum bone and study some of the important bony features of this bone the sacrum bone will articulate with the last lumbar vertebra at its upper broad base now inferiorly it will articulate with this triangular shaped bone which is known as the coccyx laterally this sacrum bone will articulate at the sacroiliac joint with the iliac bones all right now if you look at the anterior portion of this sacral bone it has a concavity and this concavity will have four pairs of sacral foramina in which the nerves will pass this sacral foramina which are pair and four in number will be on the anterior side as well as on the posterior side now this whole sacrum bone is made up of five rudimentary sacral vertebra in other words the five sacral vertebra will combine with each other to form one sacral bone all right this is the anterior wall and if we turn this sacral bone like this if we rotate it and we have the posterior wall on the posterior wall we have important structures which is known as the sacral hiatus now what is sacral hiatus in order to understand the formation of sacral hiatus have a look at the diagram of a typical vertebra now we know that the vertebra has the spinous process and two transverse process and along this spinous process will be connected with this bone by the lamina the sacral hiatus is formed when the lamina of fourth or fifth sacral vertebra fail to fuse with one another if this portion of the vertebra don't fuse with one another we have an empty structure left and it will form sacral hiatus now the sacral bone will contain a cavity in the middle which will contain the sacral nerves along with the coccygeal spinal nerves have a look at the bony features of this coccyx bone it is triangular in shape and it is formed by the fusion of one two three four four uh, coccyx vertebra the first vertebra has the transverse process but the other vertebra are only with the base in the next video, we are going to learn about the lateral wall of the pelvis. Stay tuned. 
please do like share and subscribe and i will see you in the next video